Hello, today we have Mark White, CEO of Nexelen Technology, trading on the NASDAQ under the ticker NXL. Mark, welcome back to the show. Hey Craig, uh, thanks for having me back, it's a pleasure. Now, Mark, for those just discovering Nexelen, how would you describe the mission behind your technology and what sets Nexelen apart in the mental health space? Our mission is to change the standard of care from drugs, side effects, and other types of situations that are uncomfortable for the patient into a digital treatment called digital medicine, if you will, that's non-invasive, no discomfort, no side effects, two to three times the efficacy of medication, and ultimately can be offered in the privacy of your home with your doctor's oversight and management through a virtual clinic, in other words, a digital ecosystem. Now, as you just alluded to, Mark, it's a non-invasive, and not only that, drug-free, and of course, AI-monitored treatment that you've created over there at Nexelen. How close are we to seeing this become a mainstream option in clinical care settings? So, the predecessor to what we call our HALO has, has been in clinical testing literally all over the world. It's been in a clinical setting, and it's generation one technology. So what, what's happening today and, and what can everyone expect, especially as it relates to AI, uh, artificial intelligence? So we've taken all of our, um, basically our processing systems, all of the hardware, and we condensed it down into a halo headset. This is a whole brain stimulation dev device. We're gonna stimulate through the front lobe of the brain. We're gonna stimulate behind each ear. This entire system can be digitally monitored through an app which can be digitally uploaded into the clouds, which can be managed and prescribed so the device is under the prescription and management of a medical health professional. Already, we are in clinical testing with our digital ecosystem, what we call our Nexelen Virtual Clinic. The HALO has been through feasibility testing. We're in the design, comfort, fit, and efficacy stage. So when, when will you see all of this available to the public? Depending on the FDA, depending on the clinical trials, anywhere from 12 to 24 months. And the application of treatment could be anything from insomnia to anxiety, all the way to the other end of the spectrum could be addiction, alcoholism, or most importantly, Alzheimer's dementia. Mark, you've just enrolled your first patients in a UC San Diego clinical trial for post-traumatic stress disorder and traumatic brain injury. That's huge. Now, what excites you the most about Halo Clarity's role in that research? Oh, man, we, we could spend all afternoon on that. There, there are layers of, of, of validation that this technology has created for itself because of the design team, the engineers, the biomedical engineers. Basically, we've taken everything that we've ever learned about non-invasive stimulation of the brain over the last 75 years, including shock therapy, Light, ther light stimulation, sound stimulation, even the little toys you buy on the internet for the, with the batteries um, that you're gonna hook on your ears or put a little sponge on your forehead. What did we do with all that information? We learned, we learned what not to do, we learned what to do. So what's the most exciting part about Nexlin? It's a whole brain stimulation technique that does not rely on electrical energy as its treatment standard. It relies on frequencies. In other words, we talk to the brain in its native language to promote health and wellness at 75 to 90% efficacy in clinically published trials. And we've now found a, an opportunity with the United States military to treat traumatic brain injury and the symptoms associated with PTSD. So what's exciting? The technology, the fact that you can be administered in a headset in the privacy of your home, the fact that the entire treatment can be monitored through a digital system that incorporates the processing computers on the headband of this headset into the app of the phone, into the cloud, into the doctor's portal. This is the future of mental health care. There is not any other technique like it in the world. This is a standard that we have set all to ourselves. And this is where the real value of Nexlin comes in not only in the investment community, because I know we have a lot of investors online, 
but more importantly, for the patients that are suffering, whether it's your family members, your children, your parents, or your friends in the military, wherever those are that are suffering from a mental health issue, we are here with a new standard of care. It's the future. Mark, your team has got regulatory approvals in China, Brazil, and Oman, and you're targeting a CE mark in Europe. What does global expansion look like for Nexlin this year, 2025, and beyond? So you got to add the FDA onto that list. So yes, NMPA China, Middle East Ministry of Health, South America, Deputy Centers of Health, uh, United States, FDA, and CE marks. Now, some will say, well, you should have started with the FDA. No, what we did is we left the United States where we could invest uh, tens of millions of dollars and get a return on that investment from a clinical science standpoint, a, a data model that would validate the safety and efficacy of the technology. And that then stimulated an entire global plan that allowed us to get clearances in the areas we just mentioned where we are is existing clearances, as you started with, China, Middle East, uh, South America. We're building distribution systems, building joint venture partners, building clinical models using KOLs in those respective territories. We're going to see some revenues start developing literally into Q3, Q4 of 2025 and going all the way into 26 and 27 um, on a nice gradual but but somewhat extreme uh, ramp in income in those areas as well. And while we're doing that, we'll be developing and finishing our clinical trials in the United States with the FDA. And while we're doing the FDA, we're using our pilot data and new data coming in from pilot projects for CE clearance in Europe and the notified bodies. So it's a global business because it's a global epidemic and we have a global uh, science model, distribution model, as I mentioned earlier, this is the future and the standard of care of mental health. It's not a toy you can buy on the internet. It is a real medical device. Mark, final question. Maxim recently updated its coverage on Nexlin, keeping, of course, its buy rating and raising its price target from $3 to $5. What should investors know about the road ahead and Nexlin's value proposition right now? Okay, let's do a quick history lesson on that. So we were at 60 cents and Maxim came in and did some research, some coverage. I spent hours and hours with their research team, their analytical team. They came out and did a buy at $3. Um, Nexlin had some success in the clinical areas and the intellectual protection areas, i.e. Alzheimer's dementia from a clinical standpoint. We were then getting a, um, intellectual protection on all the underlying hardware and, and, and waveform designs that we've been talking about. Our stock went to 375 and hovered between three and 375. Sometimes it would spike. Unfortunately, because of the new administration and some of the decisions about tariffs, we've seen a pullback. During that pullback, we actually went through another round of analysis with the team at Maxim and our buy, it was, I, I actually think there was a period where we were hold at three. Um, but, but anyway, what, what we, um, the, the good news is for everybody listening is that Maxim came out with a recommendation of buy at $5. So what does that mean? Um, as everybody can see, we're trading, I think around a dollar 75 today, um, based on just the, the little bit of information I just gave everybody, you can see what's, what's the value proposition that this is the future of mental health care. This company is in a very good position to become, if we're not already the leader in, in non-invasive stimulation, we are quickly becoming, and, and that's just going to take some time for the clinical community and the, and the physician community to understand what it is that we're doing. So, so that's a lot of information, Craig, but the bottom line is we're, we're whole, we are a long-term vision company, and we're not doing these short-term goals. These are long-term uh, decisions for valuation, and most importantly, treatment, safety, and efficacy for patients that are suffering. It's a great story, Mark. Thanks for sharing it with us today. Hey, it's always a pleasure to uh, check in with Redshift and give you guys an update. And um, there's more to come, so I look forward to our next meeting.